Okay, so today we're going to talk about the perpendicular bisector theorem. And it essentially states that if you have a point on the perpendicular bisector of a segment, then it is equidistant from the endpoints of that segment. So we, we are going to start off with just drawing our original line segment, and we're going to call that AB. So now if we draw a perpendicular bisector, well, that's going to cut this line segment right in half. And I'm going to say it's going to cut it right at point C right here. And we're going to draw a perpendicular line straight up from it. And actually, you know, this perpendicular, it's an infinite line that, that goes in both directions. Um, and so after we draw the perpendicular bisector, uh, well, what can we say about the original line segment AB? Well, it's cut in two pieces now. And we can say that line segment AC is congruent to line segment BC. So these two segments are, are, are congruent by definition of what a bisector is. And because it's perpendicular, we also know that this angle is, is 90 degrees, and we also know that this angle is 90 degrees. And we'll call this point up here point D. Now again, the perpendicular bisector sector theorem uh, essentially states that uh, if a point is on this line segment, this perpendicular, perpendicular bisector, then it's equidistant to the endpoints from the original segments A and B. So essentially it's saying that this distance AD is congruent to this line segment BD. So how do we prove that? Well, we go back to our understanding of proving triangles are congruent, and one of the uh, one of the ways that we did that was side angle side. So we already have two sides. So these are two triangles, ACD and then BCD, and we've already we already know that AC is congruent to BC, and we also know that. CD, line segment CD, is congruent to line se segment CD through the reflexive property of equality or congruence. So we know that the, it shares, uh, these two triangles share the side. These also are congruent sides. And we have um, two angles that are the same. So by side, angle, side, uh, we know that these two triangles are congruent. So therefore, triangle ACD is congruent to triangle. B, C, D. So then by C, P, C, T, C, which is congruent parts of congruent triangles are uh, congruent, we therefore know that these two line segments are congruent. So then we can make the uh, conclusion that uh, A, D, line segment A, D, is congruent to line segment B, D. And this is by C, P, C, T, C. Congruent parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So in that proof, and I'm going to change colors here, it's saying that really any point here on this perpendicular bisector is going to have um, an equal distance from the, the endpoints from the original line segment. So if I extend this out and I can say any point, I could even pick a point right here. And then I could draw another, you can see that I could just draw another couple triangles and then prove it the same way. Or I could pick a point here. Or I could pick a, you know, extending it out if I picked a point up here, same thing. You can just draw more and more triangles and then continue to prove that the, the distance from any point on this perpendicular bisector um, is equidistant to the original two endpoints from our original line segment AB.